Okay, so Copilot Pro just dropped today, and I have a business standard or premium uh, subscription to Microsoft 365, not a personal one. And I heard the news before I got an email from Microsoft, but I logged in to my administrative uh, panel, saw the news. It took me a little bit to sort of figure out how to, once I bought Copilot, and it costs me $30 a month, if you have a personal subscription to 365, I think it's $20 a month. But for us business owners, we get the added joy of uh, uh, $30, $10 more. Um, but okay, uh, I can cancel at any time, but let's see. So this basically embeds Copilot directly into the Microsoft uh, ecosystem. So directly in Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneDrive, and yes, even Teams. Now, I haven't had the time to go in and fully test these things. I tend to share just my initial walkthrough with all of you, just because I think it's important that we get a sense for how easy these tools are to get set up and running and how intuitive they are. Um, I will say that before I turned the camera on, I was playing with PowerPoint, and um, it doesn't seem that Copilot is stable, at least in, in the online PowerPoint version, which is what I have to do. I, I operate a Mac. Um, and so to get Copilot running, I had to, you know, use Microsoft Online uh, to do that. And when I'm in PowerPoint, I click on um, that and uh, it continues to just uh, sort of uh, disappear. Um, let me see if I can bring this down. You'll see here's the Copilot here. And when I open that window, well, now I've, uh, there you go. You'll see basically right here that um, the Copilot window opens and all this. Now, I don't know if it'll do it now, but I was sort of um, trying to, uh, what can you do? And say I was just thinking um, about what to ask the Copilot. Uh, a few minutes ago, this, this window just kept on disappearing and Copilot would just shut down completely. Um, I was able to ask a couple questions, but it didn't really seem to be able to do much. And up here you can see I'm being asked like, do you want to create a presentation? Create a presentation from a file or add a slide? So, you know, I'll try it here with you live. And let's just, uh, this is just a, um, a pretty bare bones graph. It's a one slide thing. Um, I'll say add, a, well, let's see. Click, add a slide about LLMs explaining what they are. Okay, let's see if this does it. Like I said, I have not been able to get this to do anything yet. Uh, the fact that it's still open and stable, um, that's good. So you're going to see this live with me. And... Uh, Okay, it's added a slide. Now I'm going to shrink this because I have my window uh, open. There you go. You can see that it actually did add a slide. All right, so that's helpful. Um, and it's still open. So um, it also asked me if I wanted to open Designer to basically give me different options for how to do this. Now anyone who's gone through my course um, knows that I showed you guys how to actually use OpenAI's ChatGPT to design a PowerPoint um, just through prompts in Visual Basic language and then using Designer to come up with these. So um, good, we don't have to really do that anymore. This seems to be somewhat uh, stable right now, although it wasn't. So uh, that's sort of where we are. Now, let me go with Outlook here. You'll see that my Outlook now with every email that I open, this is the one I got when I got my welcome to Microsoft Copilot, you'll see this up here, Summary by Copilot. If I click on that, it scans the email. And just I'll give you a sense for what's in this email. It's fairly lengthy. So basically tells me the bare bones of it, uh, which is pretty good. Um, now let me... Uh, Uh, I'm trying to pick a good email here. I don't want to. Well, let me just say I wanted to reply to this. Say this was just an, an email because I don't want to disclose anyone's email address. So let me just click reply. 
And here we go. Now, I can draft with Copilot, okay? So uh, I can basically, let me see. Draft with Copilot, there we go. See, it's not quite intuitive yet. So um, thank Microsoft for sending this to me. <laughs> to me, but politely request that I am not marketed to um, going forward. No. Uh, let's just see what it comes up with. Again, not the best example because this is, uh, okay, there you go. I can keep it, I can regenerate it, or I just can, dis uh, can discard it, and I'll keep it, and there you go. So, uh, again, uh, I will share more of this with you. This is, I've had it live for less than two hours now, and I've been busy doing other things. Um, but wanted to give you a sense. So it is live, Microsoft Pro. It's supposed to be embedded in Word, Excel, Teams, PowerPoint, and I'll run you through those. So should be really interesting. I'm paying $30 a month. I am a uh, OpenAI Plus subscriber too at $20 a month. So now I'm paying $50 on top of all the free um, tools that I use as well. We'll see if this is worth it. I will just say the value proposition for me, I think, I hope, is using Copilot to manage my inbox. It would be amazing use Copilot to organize emails, not just respond to them. Um, I will see if that is a function that is currently um, allowed or is in the roadmap. So anyway, uh, here you go. The first, uh, first glimpse, if you will, of Microsoft Copilot Pro.